everyone, it's Jen from practicalbydefault.com and I am happy to be here Monday morning. This was totally not my plan for the day. I was going to share with you guys an unboxing video from Science Expeditions Little Passports later in the week, but um, decided to do it today because my kids wanted to do the box today. So whenever your kids are asking to do school, you know it's always a good thing. So I hope you guys are having a great Monday morning and it's cloudy and kind of gross and dark here so the lighting is kind of off but hopefully you'll be able to see everything. So if you can see me and you can hear me if you want to just give me a thumbs up or a like or something. Um, there is a delay in live videos so if you've asked a question um, please give me a few minutes for it to show up on my screen and I'll be happy to answer that for you. So, as you know, I absolutely love coffee, and this is a perfect mug for Monday morning, don't you think? It says, curse you, early morning. That's kind of the way I feel about this Monday morning. It's cold and dreary. So, I've invited you guys to bring your coffee and come and join me. And today, um, I'm going to be unboxing the next box that we got from Little Passports, and it's Science Expeditions. And so, this is the box what it looks like when it arrives. The only thing I've done is cut the top because that makes a massive noise and my camera likes to pick up all the little noises in the house and completely ignore me. So you didn't want to hear that. Um, before we get started, I thought I would let you know that this is um, our third or fourth box in the series. The very first box you get uh, when you sign up for the science expedition. So Little Passports has different subscription boxes. They actually have four and so I'm just going to, this is the only box that we have experience with. It's the only one we've used. It's the only one we um, are familiar with. So it's the only one I can genuinely recommend. That said, so many people love Little Passports Expeditions and I heard about them before. They didn't have this box which is designed for older children at that time. And so I was really kind of disappointed because the rest of the boxes are for younger children and my kids were older than that. So I was super happy when they came out with this box. We couldn't wait to check it out. So the other ones that they have are World Edition and that is for ages 6 to 10. And so in this one you discover a new country each month. You get souvenirs, hands-on activities. And you also have the Early Explorers box that's ages 3 three to five. Um, with that one you get a new world theme each month like music, oceans, dinosaurs, that type of thing. Um, the third one they have is the US edition so that's ages 7 to 12. So now you're getting kind of into the older ages and that is you get to learn about two new states each month with activity packed state journals. So that sounds like a lot of fun. Now this box I'm showing you today is for ages 9 up and it focuses on STEAM, which is science, technology, engineering, <laughs> I forgot what the E was, um, arts and mathematics. So that's what is, um, those are the categories that this box covers. And so you learn all kinds of things. So in each, in your first box, what you'll get is this bag here. And so they send you this really cool bag. Just waiting for the camera to focus here. Okay, well it's not going to focus, but <laughs> it says Science Expeditions, I know it's backwards for you guys. It's a great box, you get to throw everything um, that you get, oh there we go, so you can see that it's a nice clear box there. And um, it's great, you can like throw all the little things that you get, because whatever you get in that first box you want to hang on to, you'll need it for future boxes. Uh, for example, one thing that you get in that box is a science notebook. It's a lab notebook. Um, this one is my daughter's, so you'll see some things in it. The first page there. It's a really cool graphic. It's about creativity and innovation and learning. And it's a, they get little badges that they can stick on the right places. You can see that. And... So it's where they like store, I'm just going to quickly show you how that works, their drawings and sketches. It's a great place, it's, it's really nice to um, just have a record of what they're learning 
and you know it's kind of cool and that's the back you can see so you get one in the box um i don't know if you can order extra one for each children so you'll want to uh, go to littlepassports.com there and you can check that out and i'll drop a link in the description of this video later when i'm finished so that you guys can take a peek because right now they have a sale sorry uh, right now they have a sale it ends tonight um, you want to use the code stock up all caps and you'll save depending on what you buy so when you buy uh, I don't know it's like you spend like 50 you save 10 and then it grows depending on how much you spend okay so each box in the science expeditions comes with the kit everything that you need is usually in the box now before I get started and opening the box um, I wanted to tell you guys that I live in Canada so one of the things I highly recommend is that you always check the FAQ section of the site to see if there's any extra fees or duties or even if they ship to Canada I have found several subscriptions boxes because I love that idea I mean everything comes in the box I'm busy right and you always forget something so you're in town and you're rushing around and then you forget to buy the one thing that you need or if you're like me you buy the gummy jujubes and then you eat them before the subscription <laughs> before you start and then you have to go get them again so everything pretty much comes in the box usually you'll need like water oil things that you keep in the house um, anyway so yes you always want to check for extra duties or if they even ship little passports it does ship to Canada obviously because I have the box and very rarely I think only once I've gotten um, duties and then I called the company and they worked out and you know reimbursed me so that worked out great okay so are we ready to open the box so I totally wasn't gonna do this until Thursday my kids were like mom we want to do the box this afternoon so I was like I haven't unboxed it yet I haven't shared it with you guys so I'm super excited to uh, share this with you all right so let's see what's in the box I wish you guys could see I'm just opening it now and this looks like it's going to be the solar energy box so this is the first bag um, if you have small children so I know some of you have older kids with younger kids you can do this box as a whole family it does have a choking warning though so if your kids are under three you know keep plastic away from it. it's pretty common sense I'm sorry if this is loud I'm gonna open this up I have no idea what these are for I have not opened this before so it looks like some sort of cardboard black tube I don't know oh and a little bag I'm curious to see what that's going to be used for because it yeah. okay so these are beads and they're clear I'm gonna guess I don't know so just uh watch me be proved wrong but I'm thinking these are solar what are they called those beads that change color when the UV rays hit them I'll bet that's what those are I'm just guessing I could be totally wrong which wouldn't surprise me okay so this little kit here can you guys see that this little kit here has gears and it looks like um, <laughs> sorry my camera's <laughs> freaking out because uh, I'm moving so it's trying to figure out what to focus um, I'm thinking this is like parts of a motor maybe or a solar panel that kind of looks like a solar panel what do you guys think it's for I think it's a solar panel I don't know who knows oh and we've got another bag so that makes two of those no let's see oh we're up to three okay now I'm getting really curious and this was all in this bag okay all right we've got this the cool thing is is that it doesn't say on the bag what they're for so this is just a black circle I, I don't think you guys can make those out but there's little like lines in it and then there's another small baggie with a little square thing in it I'm so descriptive right square thingy with lines okay this is cardboard cutouts there's two pieces here see this piece here and then this piece here and there's like a rectangle cut out 
I'm not sure what they'll be used for, but they look kind of cool. So that was all the pieces in that one. Now, you also get this little card here. And it says to go online for bonus videos, tips, printables, and more. And it's really cool because they always give you extra resources. So you get the box, but then you get like bonus beyond the box, which I absolutely love because that way the learning is, you know, all month long. We take about a month to do a box. We do like a little bit each week. Um, it's a great way to add fun into your homeschool week, or even if you're not a homeschooler, to just have fun and play. All right, so I think I was telling you guys that each one comes with... So there's an example of the badge that she'll get to put in her book. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so this here is my favorite part. Hi! <laughs> Thanks! Um, this is my favorite book here. And because it tells me everything that is going to happen, all the instructions and things. So this is solar energy. It looks like we're going to be building a solar powered car, which is going to be cool. A spectroscope? I could be saying that wrong. Can you see this? Is it clear or is it blurry? Just let me know. You, you can use an emoji like a happy face or a sad face if you can't see it. Just remember it takes time. Okay. And then ultraviolet impact. So I was right. Okay. And then you can pull them out and you get all the instructions with colors and they're super easy. They're always lay out the steps. And then I love the questions that are in it. It's like what's going on. So then it gives you the background of the things that you can't see, or in my case, things that mom doesn't know really what's going on. It tells you. So that's really cool. And we're going to have a testing chart. There we go. So that's both sides. And it looks like you get your layout of your, I'm guessing this is gonna be the car. I think you actually get to build the motor, so that's gonna be cool. And then every science expedition comes with a 16, 14 to 16 page, um, it's like a graphic novel kind of thing. You get a, a letter from Sophia and Sam, and then it's like a comic book kind of styled. Um, pamphlet maybe and it has more instructions on other experiments you can do along with puzzles and that type of thing so this looks like it's going to be a ton of fun I can't wait to dig in so this box that we got is on solar energy so I hope you guys will follow along with us this month as we dig into this box there's another look at the badge and, oh, I'm going to start putting stuff back in the bag, otherwise I'll lose it. But, yeah, you can see how everything is clearly laid out. It says front. <laughs> I'm waiting for this to focus so you guys can see it. Anyway, it says front and back, and it's, it's pretty clear. This box is great for older children, ages 9 and up. And um, if you're using it with younger children, you can surely include them. I know many of you have children that are span various ages. Mine are 13 and 15. So they can pretty much, um, you know, they could do it on their own if they wanted to. We choose to do it as a family. So the three of us get together and we uh, follow the directions, mostly because I'm nosy and I want to have fun too. But it's a great way to uh, include front fun, especially as um, during this time, I find many of us, our work schedules, you know, they get really busy, we get extra hours, and then you add in all the holiday prep, and it's kind of crazy, or, you know, it can be really stressful. So last year, what we did is we took a learning break, and we used a science expedition box to help us keep learning, but we cut out a lot of our, like, core curriculum, like we took a break from math and history and whatever for a few weeks. And we just focused on really having fun and learning. So we use some online unit studies and we use this box. And this is a great way to do that. So make sure you check the link in the description of this video. It's not there now. I'll add it when I'm done. Um, and if you see something that you think your kids would be interested, don't forget to use the discount code. Um, I'll put that up there for you guys as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. 
I know it's Monday and you guys are probably really busy and crazy, so if you're catching this on the replay, feel free to ask questions in the comments or um, if you have anything that you wanted to know, I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Um, so yeah, all right, so you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.